Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to MBTV. I'm Captain Lush, your regular host, joined by one of my favourites of all time. It is Bavandafar from Apple Rock. How you doing, mate? Hello. I'm all right. Tonight, How are you, mate? I'm sick. Thank you very much. Tonight, uh, it's a week three clash in the Warband Native League season four: the Castellans versus the three Ock Akunjalara. What's your first thoughts on this game? Well, I think it's going to be a good game, dude. Hell yeah! So do That's I. what I think. I think it's going to be even. Even. I think. I think so. I mean, right now in the, in the league, it's um, Castellans in seventh place, uh, three OK in the sixth place. Just immediately, I'm going to give the translation of the three Ock Akunjalara, which is how you pronounce it. Uh, it means the three arrow raiders. They're I very can't pronounce that. Akunjalaru. Akunjalaru. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, thanks. It's the um, it's the original uh, team from um, it's Marder's original team, I think. He's kind of their Alonzo, he's their spiritual leader, and uh, they've been around for a very, very long time since. Well, pretty early on in the in the game, to be honest. And yeah. they're back now, reformed. I think they got some new players in. And they're two for two right now in the league, which is pretty impressive, right? Yeah, it's pretty good for an old team like that to come back and just um, do not not brilliant, not bad, but decent. Well, they're doing they're doing brilliantly so far. They've got two wins. No, oh, I thought you said. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, it's the Castellans. They're on. Um, they are on uh, one win and one draw for the moment. That's how it is. All right, cool. No, but then I respect that they can come back. Like some of their players have have been playing. Before the whole clan just came back. Uh, what, like, three okay? Yeah, for example, yeah. like Grenade, Midgard, yeah, 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 um, Kathy, Alexia, like, these players have been playing for, like, a couple of good months now. Yeah, they've been doing good stuff in, uh, what team, what team was Midgard in the last WNL? Nameless. Nameless, yeah. With oh, Grenade yeah. and, uh, Midgard. And Nameless were obviously very successful as well. They came yeah. third in the end, was it? Yeah, I think. They I, beat I IG know, in the third place playoff. So yeah, yeah, pretty good for them. Yeah, so they they have some players. Maybe they're making up tactics. I don't know really, but yeah. Well, actually, I know Marder himself is actually. Uh, I believe he's streaming a different game right now. So there's a commitment from your leader. <laughs> but that's well, he's in the server, though. Oh, is he? I thought he was going to stream yeah. a game with Volcom. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened. That's going to happen later. Uh, or maybe it's tomorrow night or something like that. Um, but while we just mentioned Midgard Grenade, I've not put them on the key players list. The key players I decided to do. Purely based on the WNL4 stats by, um, I think Fozzy's done them. I think it's Fozzy, Yona, and who else has done these? There's someone else, isn't it? It's Pepper. not Fozzy, it's not Fozzy, Pepper. it's not Fozzy, it's Pepper. For some yeah, reason, Pepper. I've them. Uh, it's Pepper and uh, Hugo Von Pyens from SBO, so shout out to oh, yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some good stats. Uh, it's not put Grenade or uh, Midgard on top, but you know, perhaps after the weeks they'll sort that out. Uh, Probably. Yeah, but for the time being, I've just, I've just got on that list because it's quite objective. Even though I've, you know, I've got no problem with being subjective and just choosing my own top players. I just think uh, got a good time there. This is interesting. I didn't know that uh, Shoxy was in 3 okay. Did you know? Me neither until today. Is he a new addition, Me. I wonder? And I wonder how he copes with the language barrier, I think, probably pretty badly. Unless he, he does communicate through text anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, he's right English, really. Yeah, that's true. I mean, as, as far as I know, he's Croatian, and I don't know if he if he actually understands Turkish. Uh, I would I wouldn't have thought so. Maybe not. The language is in my in my uh, as, to, as far as I know, not very similar. He could be half Turkish. I don't think he is, dude. Mm, maybe not. Just imagine he is then. <laughs> anyway, um, going with like Castellans a little bit. Who's really scaring you about the team? Who do you think is looking really hot? Oh, well, OGL always scary, dude. He scares me. He scares you? Yeah, he scares me a lot. He he's a, he's a very sick archer, he is, yeah. Yeah, he, he just pulls out headshots all the time. Hides, obviously, always scary cow. That's true. Pepper as well, I mean, both OGL and Pepper, they were really impressive. Uh, I mean, for me at least, in the, in the last Nations Cup, playing together with them. Yeah, in the UK team, yeah. They both did really well. And I was often, yeah. thought, I was often like, picked ahead of them. And I always kind of felt bad, because I was like, I'm not as <laughs> active, and like... No, yeah. I, I, I see that. I do, but, I tell you what, yeah, they're both good. In the round we got knocked out, I made a pretty big like I like headshot Corey with a throwing axe like that. It was just, it was so bad. Uh, but you know whatever. Yeah. I think that's gonna be my last Nations Cup now, which is a shame. Really? But, yeah, but I had a, I had some good times with it. I, I think Should I'm just Turkey. I'll just stream from now on. I think. Hmm. I could have yeah. qualified for Turkey. Could I? That surely that's illegal. Well, I don't know. You live in Turkey, don't you? Is that is that the? 
I don't know. Everyone Plus, else. I never ran a tournament, so I don't know. I would, I would probably put you in in UK myself. Not even, a, not even a dual tournament. Not even a dual tournament. You'll run one one day. You join the ranks of the elite tournament running people. Uh, I couldn't do the organising. No, no fancy it. Nah, uh, too. My brain is too scattered, really. We discussed this before the stream numbers, not your strong point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Failed at that advance. That's okay. Uh, you had to bring that up, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty. That felt pretty harsh, actually. No, nah, it's all right. It felt pretty uh, good. I'm, I'm proud about my this Calgalexy, whatever it's called. Yeah, not, not numbers, not words. What do you got going for you, Blake? Come on, give us some of your strong points tonight. Uh, Warband. Well, to be fair, you are fluent in two languages as well. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, that is true. And I draw a lot. Creative. That's right. Does your mum put them up on the fridge? Oh uh, yeah, she did with one thing I did long ago. Yeah, Are you proud? I did on Mo I did on Mother's Day. No, I'm not proud of it. Looks shit. Is that <laughs> is that a thing in Sweden? Like a big pop on the fridge? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Now she has it um framed in actually. Oh, it's on a shelf cool. in my kitchen. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's tight. But if 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 I could decide, I would rather her put it down with it. You want to draw a new one? Yeah, that's yeah, quite I'd rather one. draw it. Yeah. Well, I'm sure probably. you can do that. Yeah, I could do that. I feel like we've gotten sidetracked just a little bit at this point. Um, no, well, they're not really doing anything. Well, you know, they're you know they're, they're getting ready for the game, they're preparing. I'd rather talk about me this whole game. God, well, if that's an option, I'll, I'll gladly join you with it. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. So I want to I want to mention that both of these teams have extremely large rosters. Thirty-nine yep. for the Castellans, thirty-seven for the three OK. That's big, right? Is that all the like old and active 3 OK members? I think so. Just yeah. Just put them in. Yeah. Because that, the that's really... the heaps in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's kind of the same thing we do for AE. Yeah, but I mean, you know, either way, there's still a lot, even if it's inactive. But AE doesn't have that many um, players in the roster, even an active one, does it? Well, we have, in my opinion, we have a lot of inactives, dude. Yeah, you got a big roster, but it's like 29 players like that. Maybe. Yeah. I haven't really counted. Did David join AE? Did didn't he? Yeah, they didn't win an active. Pretty short lived, wasn't it? They're going live now, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna run that um run that map intro, so it's all the just a second. Okay, and we're now in the game. Um, yes, sir. Castellan spawning as the Swadians in spawn one, with three OK playing as the Sounders in spawn two. You favour any spawns here on Valoran? Yeah, I'd favour the defending spawn, spawn one. Spawn one. Seems like yeah. uh, three OK managed to get into the tower though before Castellans. Pretty important that, point. Yeah, it is. It's a pretty important point. I agree with you on that, but. I don't think I agree with putting all your players up in this tower. You don't, you don't like it? No, I don't think that will work out. What but about what Castellan are doing right now? They're kind of holding the the uh, under under road, I guess, the rat way. Yeah, I can agree with that. That's fair. They, they got control of like all of the map right now, so yeah, they got like two flags, and they, if the flag spawns behind three okay as well, they have to retreat, and Castellan can just move into the tower. So they're pretty solid for them. Yeah. Um, I think Swadians, I think, have an advantage against Saturnians here as well. That's what I say, at least. Oh uh, yeah, I, I I never really. I guess Sarnid have axes and they have like scimitars and all that, but they don't they don't do anything like really amazingly well. Nah, like Cav, I and, guess on this map and Swadians they just snowball so they got that. Yeah, they got that. I I never really I never really looked at faction strength and weaknesses like that though. All right, fair enough. I, I always think if a team is better, then they'll win whatever faction. We're showing Novax and Castell as well. I don't know this Van. Oh, Van Tong, is that Scar's brother? Yeah, it's Scar's little brother, younger brother. That's cool. Shout out to Scar as well, doing some great work on the admin for this. Yeah. Tournament. Oh, I'm not. As usual. Uh, uh, flag has pump. Yeah, up in the rat market. And yeah. Castell are there closer, but it looks like. Looks like 3 OK making a break for the low road, and I don't think Castell are really ready for this at all. They just noticed it just now. Um, uh, 3 OK have hesitated, though, to come up, and. I might be mistaken. They're bursting out now, and I think. 
It's a bit of trouble for Kassan. The cav from both sides is not really here at all. They have to come in pretty fast. Unless a grenade and, uh, oh sorry, yeah, grenade, Shoxy and Heiser kind of fighting out. Shoxy gets the first kill on Pepper, but the fight is breaking out here. In comes Heiser, doesn't get anything done. Shoxy gets a knockdown, but not really a significant one. It's back and forth. 6-6 hey, six, six is, is the player count right now. Perhaps they're okay. Going advantage, but back. it's so hard. It's, pretty, it's a pretty scattered fight right now. Castell and putting it back now. It's 4-4. Four, four. And Fight tries to break out of the fight, but Caesar's there to stop him from getting away with that. Castell Novak brings down Katty. And now Castell with an advantage. But Caesar's a little bit um, out of sorts. He's a little bit vulnerable. Oh, takes a big hit there from, from uh, Freakess. Caesar brings down Shoxian. Now Castell with a significant advantage. Caesar gets a, a double kill there. Bring his I think, three um, from this round. I think Midgard made a minor mistake then. Did he back off a bit from the fight? Yeah, he backed off too much. He killed Yona and that was good. Then he focused he focused too much on the Castellan Cav and trying to bring that down without a pole arm. Yes. And uh, during that little little time, then um, Castellan's just swam the other guys, really. So first round goes to Castellan and um, half of 3OK fall to Caesar. So racking up a nice little bit of kills there from the start. Yeah, four kills first round. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. I mean, four kills is a decent amount for a set. So he's already doing pretty well. Yeah. Three K moves the tower again. Are they going to push forward this time? I wonder. No, pretty passive. One would hope so. No, not much of a push. Not much of a switch up from there. Looks like they're doing the same again. Three K with an extra cab as well. They got both Shoxy and Grenade. I wonder if they just picked that based on player preference rather than a, a tactical plan. Probably play, player preference. Yeah. What do you I'll think of that? So. What do you think of the two cab on this map? Do you think it works? I think it w it, it works if you play it right. Yeah. They had they had a good chance then to to pull out some nice. Some nice things with the cow when they just burst out of the tunnels, really. But they just went with them when they need to be. I wonder, the cow wasn't there. I wonder if that was to do with hives sort of blocking them off. Maybe it could have been, but I mean, how can hives block off two cow? Yeah, you're right. I'm interested to see two how. Two Sarnid cow as well. Interested to see how hives is playing as well because, like, I mean, he's been one of the best cows in the scene, really. Yeah, for a long time, yeah. Um, but I wonder, is he, you know, is he in practice? Is he playing well? I think that's going to be quite important for this game. Especially since I don't see Black Tide. I don't know if that's just a. I don't know what that choice is based on. Oh, OGL! Oh, that sick headshot. That sickening headshot. Leading the charge there. We got that pretty nice on stream as well. Just picked him off. You caught that. it? Yeah, I caught it. It wasn't like really great, but just sort of pick him off up in that. Yeah, but that I mean, headshot before the fight, it's, it's, always, it's always nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so he's here. we pretty pleased with that. Got to keep focused though. Only one player is not going to guarantee the win. That does mean that 3OK have no um, archers left. Interesting since their name is the Three Arrow Raiders. Uh, they only took one archer, and he's not oh, really? dead. Oh yeah, you're right about that. I think three. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I think one archer's pretty reckless on this map, to be honest. Like, yeah, you got you yeah, have to right. go heavy, but oh, check this out! Check this out from Midgard. He's got the mace. What do you think of this? What? Which mace? The, the iron mace. One? The one. The one-handed one. The one-handed one. Yeah, that's a cool weapon. I I do I do like it. It's like as fast it's as it's like fast as scimitar, isn't it? It's like pretty fast. Yeah, I know. It, it's really fast. It's really short, and it can knock people down. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's it doesn't do as much damage really. I wonder if he's been practicing that. Like, but but the knockdown, if, if you get like the the hit kick hit, if you get knocked like, down. You you get three three hits off then. Yeah, yeah. If you get the kick in as well and stuff. Yeah, well you do. Yeah, yeah. midguard would I imagine. Yeah, um, me too. <laughs> three crossbowmen here for Castellan. And that's forcing 3 okay to come away from the flag here. Midgard and Lexi moving forward. Um, it's like they go from a slightly sort of mixed approach here. Because they sent some through the, the tunnels and some through this archway. We're going to watch the archway here mainly. It's like 3 okay have a player advantage here. Or it's 3 on 3, but. Uh, it seems Grenades like can stop. Yeah, because Selling can get the best of them. Grenades are finally able to escape now. Midgard has taken a few um, hits at the moment. He needs some support. Shoxy's there to back him up. I think Yoni wants to break away from this fight now as well. And yeah, support his teammates. I would him. Yeah. Here comes Hives, gets Amalexi early on. Down goes Midgard as well. Yoni takes a big hit, big hit there, but it's not enough to bring him down. Novak takes down Shoxy and... Oh, Castellan just running away with this now. And 3 okay looking... Clean sweep so far. Yeah, 3 okay looking just... Uh, pretty, pretty weak. Uh, just Katty left. Right now. Fighting for his life, shielding good. Caesar, yeah, he's going to get a sixth kill. Interestingly, Novak there as well. Getting up to 4-0. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not nice bad. Nice scores. Guys... I want to see chatting, I want to see those cappers in the chat, and I want to see you tweeting in at Captain Lust. How many people's watching? Not that many tonight, but no. uh, you it's know, Friday. I, it's Friday. People are out, and people are playing matches, and people are training matches. It's a very, yeah. it's a very busy time. It's understandable. We're doing Although, this for vibes. I do, I do think that the stream should be smooth at the moment. Do let us know how the stream quality is, but no drop frames are showing on the stream right now, so I think the internet is being kind to me tonight. Mm. Thank you. Um, 
Gods of the Turkish Internet. <laughs> a thousand blessings on you and your children. Now, the Kassans have really, really focused on getting armor this round. We've got a couple of Brigandines. Everyone else is in um, four burgeons, except for Pepper, I think, who's gone down, I guess, a couple of deaths. This is what I don't like, right? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a fashion guy when it comes to Warband. Why do you get the Brigandine with wrapped, with wrapped boots? Well, the boots don't get hit that, but that much. I mean, if you're on horses, well, it's but look at it. I think I talked about this before. Let's talk about what it looks bad. Is that what you're saying? Is that it's the uh... yeah? Okay. Um, looks like I said to get the first two kills there. Novak picking up a double kill there. Um, I think Three Rock is having a really hard time right now. Uh, or Ice. Fives. With, yeah, double kill him. Oh, they just get the yeah. bump sash. That charge was very really bridge as well. Comes in for another kill from Novak there as well. Rare for like Caesar and Novak just sweating out for kills right now. Both on seven and zero. Big guys gonna go down. Hives get the bump slash and Hives up to five and zero as well. Uh, looking pretty one-sided for the time being. I did break to win. I did break to win for the three orc, and I did bet on them. Two hundred of my finest denars. Mm. Uh, I wonder if there's anything that three orc can really do at this point. Well, against this kind of armor and stuff. Uh, I mean, it's been like two clean sweep, clean sweeps in a row, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, oh, no, 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 they, no, they got they got one last round. Yeah, they got one. Yeah, yeah they got one. Bantong. Oh, near enough. Bit of dust. <laughs> Poor Bantong. Yeah. Not linking up his brother's shoes. Well. As the, great, the, the greatest inf in Germany, Scar. As That's always claims. <laughs> I was trolling my tournament's Rodan. He hates that. No, oh, yeah, I would hate that if I was him as well. To be honest <laughs> with you. And um, yeah, three okay, taking a bit of a hit already. Yeah, it's rough. It's, to go four down in early doors is really rough, but I feel like it's the kind of setup where if they can get two rounds of Swadia, they can easily get a 4 0 back as well, or like a 3 1 or something like that. Mm. And that'll even up for the, the second map. Um, Hopefully, it, you're it, right. If Black Tie's not here, then I think they have a decent advantage on the second map. I mean, like, as Cav, who does Castellan really have if Black Tie's away? They've got Hives. And who else would they put Hives. there? Maybe Caesar that they would Caesar. put as Cav? Yeah. But other than well, that. But for that power ranking, yeah, I, I do think that 3 OK has, has better cav, but I well, also think that Castellan has better archers. Like Shoxy Grenade, I don't know what else they got, like Indesquent, does he play cav? I think he might do. Yeah, he plays cav, yeah. And he's been doing pretty well, so uh, they could do good on the open map. It's Reverend Village as well, so decent cav opportunities. Yeah. Um, I think Grenade is, is top-notch cav. He, yeah. he's, he's really good. 0-3 uh, um, right now, though, not getting things done. No, it's a hard map to play cav on, I think. I'd imagine I didn't play Cav, but yeah. But although, imagine. To be fair, it's closed, but it's very flat, and there's, you know, the streets are pretty wide. Yeah. It's not like Nortown North or something. What do you think of the return of Nortown, by the way? You like that? Yeah, I do like that. I'm not playing in the tournament myself. I'm benched, but I do like Nortown. Yeah, so. but you still have an opinion. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's good. Yeah. And especially the editor version. Yeah. No more force walls. No more. Yeah, exactly. I don't know really the. The spawns didn't make that much difference in the competitive play, I don't think. Um, no, but it was... It just it removed aggression completely. Yeah, you're right. Um, looks like Castellan going to fight 3-0-K three, three okay on the... Ooh. In transit, which I think is a really smart move, because they've already got yeah. a hit off on there. And this is such, a, exactly. such an awkward spot for 3-0-K to try and move up on. And what is Frakes doing right? What, what is Frakes doing right? He's trying to get his um, bow out, but he's under so much pressure from the crossbows. I just get hit off there, but I mean, you know, he's having Castellan such a hard time getting through, anything here. They let him through. It's good swing. It's good swing, I imagine. Frakes is shut down right now, and look. Uh, Castelling is, is just going to crush them right now. XRCC picks up a kill. Actually, Van Tong under a lot of pressure here. But he's able to keep these players. Oh, lose his shield now. He could go down here. Oh, he is going to go down. Well, maybe 3 okay, That's what I said. No, yeah, you were right. Sorry, Midgard. Yeah, I know. And Axe picked up a kill as well. I'm so happy I was right. Perhaps a mistake here from Castelling. They're now down four players to six. Although Hives is up with that cab. He's going to be so hard to bring down. OGL brings down uh, Frights. And just little, these little knockoffs and stuff like that. Oh yeah, Hives oh, to finish off a uh, mid guard. Just a tank right now. And now OGL's free. He's, oh, sorry, Yami Pirate's free. Gonna be able to come up and support Novak here. Novak gets some massive work here as well. Nice kill from Novak. That's great. Uh, Alex and Novak just sweating out. The Cav not able to get involved. They're both sort of limiting each other. But Yami Pirate was able to support. Novak finishes uh, Alex off anyway. XRCC uh, elsewhere in the map has managed, managed to finish off OGL. But they're nowhere near the flag. They're so far away from the what flag. Were they? I don't know clue what they were doing. There. And they're just not going to be able to get get the razor because the round's going to end. I mean, Grenade's got to run to the flag and dismount. But even that's not going to not going to see him through. It's just oh, over. Right. It's over at this point. So um, 
Yeah. Was it? It was a nice try. I guess I think OGM wants to get them busy on the other side of the map really for a very long time. Nice try from Grenade there as well, getting that last couch lance in there. If, if he could have yeah. done that, like, uh, he could have done something maybe, I don't know. It wasn't a couch lance, so it was just, just lance. Well, there you have it, and uh, it is going to be 4 0 to the Castellans after that um, first set. So sure 3 0 okay was going to win the last, set, last round. Yeah? Yeah, I had, I had a feeling. Well, they didn't. No, I know, but it was close. It was close. <laughs> well, you certainly, I mean, you called the engagement right. Um, they yep. did this off. It's better than I thought we were going to do. I mean, it's not really a secret that I'm a tactical genius, so. No, it's not. It's not a secret that I'm a tactical moron as well. There we go. Guess we have a bit of a chemistry there. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know. See if it's gonna go any different for the three okay plans for you. I mean, they can be epics, obviously. Yeah, it's but possible as well. They can't really afford to lose a lot of rounds now. They gotta, they gotta win. They gotta win. This is fucking. It's really, it's really demoralizing. I think. Oh four, really. I think uh, they can, they can get away with like two six, but I think one seven is just too much. So they're gonna want to make sure they get at least two rounds here. Yeah, still though, two six going into the second map. Like it's Not Yeah, really. they can still do that though. If they if they play sick on the second map, like a four I would even up straight away again. Uh, yeah. Even if right. they get a three one, it's like it's still pretty even, it's like seven five after that. Yeah. Oh you're right. It's just demoralizing, isn't it? Yeah. They can even get a draw, who knows? Draw as possible. Hmm. Very unlikely with the, the force flag spawn, but it does happen. Who, who picked, by the way? Who picked who in this? It's always the first team, the second team, so it's Castellan's picked uh, through OK. Mm. I think there weren't many choices left, and um, to be honest, I think that makes a lot of sense. Like, if we look at who was else with the, um, in that, like, the, their options, yeah, it was it was AE and IR, so. Mm. No, there you go. I think it's a good pick, anyway. Yeah. I, I, li I, I like the matchup. I think it's like Castellans, they're only on four points right now, so they, I mean, they kind of need to get every win they can. I mean, really, if they, if they were really going to shoot for the title, they could have used the opportunity to, to like maybe challenge A or IR, possibly. Yeah. IR could have been a good pick for them, perhaps. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, they should have a chance to get uh, a match and a challenge if they really want to go for the title. Hmm. They're very, very hard. Yeah, you're right. What do you think of the ladder for my role? I mean, I was speaking to... To Clerk. Uh, no, I didn't about this today, actually. Oh. About how the ladder format kind of... I mean, there's no real... There's no... It's not likely that you're going to get many second chances because there's no knockout or anything like that. To be honest with you, I don't really understand it. Well, well, I mean, just the fact that there's a ladder and then no knockout, so it's just the, purely the ladder. It's, it gives the final result, and that's the first place, second place, third place. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. That, that's pretty, pretty crappy to be honest. I think it's not, it's not crappy. It's just different. But I mean, well, you, well, you want final matches, man, don't you? I kind of, I, I like a knockout, but I still, it's, it's cool. That it's, it's interesting anyway. It's different. Yeah, I guess. But uh, how many teams is in this in the tournament this uh, year? It starts at 36, but it's up to 38 now. I think but there's been a couple of joiners. Over yeah. The, uh, this week. Nerd, that's come a, in. Good old nerd. That's a lot of teams. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not as many as uh, last season, but still pretty good. No. I think it started with like 40 last season, but... It's more than the NL ever had, even though supposedly the game is dying, so... Stick that, yeah, stick, no, stick, right. stick that in your pipes and smokes it. How many... Like, how many teams on average was in the NL? Normally about 30 or so, I think. Mm. Probably got up to that's like 35 good. or something like that, maybe next. Yeah, that's pretty good anyway, like... I don't know, yeah. when, when, do you remember which year you started the first, you know? Yeah, 2011. 2011, yeah. yeah. I guess it was... I don't know, I think it was more, was it more um, non-European tournaments going on? Like, uh, more nationality? I'm not based, like... Nah, not really. I mean, like, it, it was, there was just like, there was a Turkish league going on as well, and like a lot of Turkish teams enjoyed yeah. that. I think a lot of German teams didn't join either. Like Russian teams didn't join as much, but they, they did. I mean, we had like Syndicate, BT, Invisible, and like shit like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a massive team now. Yeah, man. Anyway, we're gonna get to the game, so. Live now? Uh, yeah, I think we're live. 
Let's hit it up. Yeah, yeah, boy. See now, Castellan only has one archer. It's that thing for Sirenids now. I don't know. I think it shouldn't be. I mean, Sirenid archers are not great, but. Nah. No, but I mean, then you want to pack more of them. Well, I don't know if that always works. Because, I mean, if, like, you want to use what's the strength of the faction, don't you? Like, well, certainly, and then you should just go all cow with Sarna, then, because their imp isn't really that good, neither. I thought you were a tactical genius here. What, what are you talking about? Well, I mean... All cow and Lauren. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to use the strength of the faction. Yeah, but, you know, you've got to balance it out, don't you? There's lots of things to factor in. I've got to explain sort of basic warband yeah. strategy to you. Or, you know, what's, what's going on here? And then all the all the flags is in open places, places, aren't they? Well, maybe we might see Caspan. I mean, it has. <laughs> it's, it's been aired on Valoran before. And what has it? Yeah, it's worked. Oh, and there you go then. My streamer <laughs> mod is messing up so bad. That's your fault because the mod is perfect. What's the goal? Yeah, no. Tell me just quickly what's going on with that. I know it's not really entertaining for the viewers, but it's the, it's the team team names. All right, that doesn't matter. That's just your fault. Um, it's not. Obviously, is. in the meantime, right. uh, team's pretty passive still. No one's really taking the tower, which is quite interesting. Castellans have gone to the wine road, the brewery. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, no, they yeah. haven't. Three, three arc have, three arc have. Yeah. And uh, right. Castellan up in their sort of favourite place around that, around the ratway. It's a pretty smart um, place. I've got access to all the flags through that ratway. Over the side and then back in the, in the rat market. Two cal for both teams as well here. I think that's reasonable enough. Arthur Sand comes in for Castellan. That's great. Arthur Sand, one of the uh, Polish cavalry player. Yeah, this is former wolf pack. He's been around for a very, 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 very long time as well. Ref and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's hasn't he? I played against him back in the ENPL. Oh really? Oh god, he played yeah. in the the European he played in the ENPL. The European Native Pro League. Yeah, god, yeah. You played in core then, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I think we got knocked out by Ref actually on Village. <laughs> Here we go, there's a fight breaking out. Yeah, flag spawned down now in the sort of in the low area, top of the brewery. Um, three up with a nice setup actually, they got a couple of archers kind of around it. Yeah, but I think they should have an archer more on the left. Oh yeah, Yona shooting out shocks. Gren Grenade gets a nice catch on there. Yeah, and Hyde gets a little bit caught up in melee here as well. But Castell up up the kills. Grenade doing what he can, but. It's not enough, Bell I don't think. breaking out the two-hander. Him stabbed in the back by Novak. <laughs> what two-hander was that? Oh, the, the bastard sword, I think. Sweet. I missed that. Heavy, heavy bastard, actually. Just catching grenade left. I don't think they can do it now. Oh, kick slash by OGL. OGL. Donut's infantry superior. Oh, did you see that from OGL? The javelin. I missed it. Oh, that was clutch. That was so clutch. He was just about to get bumped, and like just at the last second, he just raised the javelin and just killed grenade. That was oh, cool. it was sick. That was really beastly, actually, that was very clutch. Even though he didn't need to clutch at all. It was nice from OGL getting three kills there. And all of them pretty, pretty sweet. And as infantry as well, so he's yeah. proving himself. So fair play. Um, pretty bad, so otherwise Novak picking up two kills as well. Caesar, 0-1. Not maintaining his dominance from the, the first set. <laughs> mm. And now it's 5 0 to the Castellans. That's, oh, it's rough for 3 arc. You feel like that's yeah, a, rough. a pretty big skill. Oh, did, did, did OJ get a, yeah, a he jump jab? Yeah, he Catty then. Oh, that's dirty. That is dirty. Poor Catty. Catty the, wasn't really paying attention then. Might have been the head as well because I can't see it. Um, Let me take a look. Oh, no, no, no. It's just hard, it. yeah. hard to tell when, like, when the shield's up. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, Castellan looking pretty dominant right now. Oh, that's a horrible shot from Catty just there, trying to shoot the horse. <laughs> really bad. I don't know why people take the, the, the weak crossbow as well, I think it just sucks. Like, I know like good players who take it, but I just think they're still wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I see. You gotta take the heavy crossbow at least. Siege crossbow is the best, because it's just like, it's so powerful. Well, the, the reload speed is, is so fast with a free crossbow in it. Yeah, but it's... You don't, it's need, not that, worth you don't it. need that much. Like, yeah, I think it is. Like, especially when you try, especially when you try to shoot horses and stuff. Uh, I mean. Yeah, but I mean, I seen Nelly play with a free crossbow all the time. Mm. He's, but he's just popping head though. Head yeah. though. So I guess, I guess that's different. And if your cat is gonna be shooting at the ground, not even at anything, then it doesn't really matter mm -hmm. what crossbow you take, does it? No, there you go. 
pretty hot shit, Catty, to be honest. Yeah, that is pretty hot shit. <laughs> OGL, man of the moment. Looking pretty fine there. The Got a pretty sweet beard. And uh, that that sort of good standard helmet. Sort of that default face as well. It's not default, Fogel. He's got a kind of default in it. It's not. It's not. It's not like a Blivhound face, but it's. Right, it's not a Blivhound face. Now you're wrong. You're right. Oh, do care to drop then? Oh, that's a, that's unfortunate for them. For uh, XRCC, Turkish internet though is very unfortunate for everyone. And made notoriously bad by you. Well, by everyone. I was once in a match yeah. with like Rush Rush, and they had an earthquake, and they were just. Oh dropped, really? Yeah, it was just dropped. Yeah. Yeah, earthquakes in Turkey. Well, yeah, not really in Ankara, but in Istanbul. Goku was an R team, and he's in Ankara, so he was just like, what was that? He, just, like, he had a little shake. All well, the Rush Rush players dropped. Anyway, the game. Yeah. Um, Cassandra's trying to flag Brooms, like, just raising up. Cool, see Brooms, out as well, another Baron of the scene. Mm hmm. Oh, the jabs for um, Cassandra have been great, actually. They've really been focusing yeah. on that, obviously. Ojo picking up Midgard somewhere on the map, I'm not really sure where. 3 okay just seemed to not have a great approach here. Venendor coming with a 2 hander just going to try and have a go at Novak here. Uh, but, I mean, Novak is the wrong player to pick to fight with a 2 hander because he's. Nice I'm one. not sure, dude. Uh, look, see, no, Velendor so, no, is sick with a 2 hander. Look, Nova, look, Novak's already kind of got hit off. Um, look, down he goes. And, like, Hive's got a double kill there as well. I think Kassem picks up a couple kills there, just uh, like, kind of luckily. Grenade, this one as well, but. Caught up on the wall and Yona. Even though he's only um, playing as one archer, still doing nice work there. 3 0. Yeah, yeah. Now it's 6-0 and, oh, and if you're okay, you've got to do some serious work now because this is not happening at all. I mean, they're getting, they're getting rolled except for Grenade. It's going to be it's gonna be 7-0, isn't it? Well, this, well, this we'll match. See. well, what is really frustrating about this is who is commanding for 3-0-K because they haven't changed anything they've done uh, I knew once. This come up. They haven't changed yeah. it once. And that is no, just right. it's shocking. It is really shocking. They, they, yeah. they Actually, they're doing a different approach this time. Uh, they're, they're blocking Cassandra on the stairs. I don't like it. The same thing. I don't like it, but I like that it's different. Uh, in yeah, comes Arthur, uh -huh. and he is just gonna catch on someone or not, or knock someone down and get the kill. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, losing swords actually. Midgard gonna harass him a little bit, not get anything done. He's gonna storm him. And um, well, a little bit chaotic here. This is probably decent chance that 3 k have that. You've got to do some individual serious work here. Uh, Midgard is this is all nice sort of overhead bit of pike and stuff going on from Cassandra there as well. They're doing some high level things here. Uh, Brooms it brings down Alex. Grenade does get killed back, and he is doing. I mean, he's working as hard as he can. Doing and all the work. Double really. kill there. He's really just the only player doing anything for his team at the moment. Uh, gets a catch on still there. A bit vulnerable now. Oh, he's going to go down there, I think. Poor guy. But a team kill at the same time. And, well, it's it's Shoxy versus three. And Shoxy, he's a kind of player that can pull this kind of thing up, but does go down to Yona there. Um, Yona, you're sitting unbothered on top, sitting of that, the tower, yeah. top of that forward. Yeah. Yona's the king of the castle, and Shoxy's the dirty rascal in this case. Yeah, that's a 7 0. Oh well. Poor old 3 Oak. They've had a bit of a wake up call from this. They were flying high with their wins against somebody or nobody. They fought they fought Polish Eagles, I think. Oh, did they? It's actually, yeah. it's actually pretty impressive. Oh, yeah, and the other. The other yeah, they did. Uh, and the, the other one was like Funds for the Emperor, who should be pretty decent, although perhaps not focusing very seriously this uh, this season. But Castellan's no, have really shaken them up. And, I mean. I guess then it raises questions about what kind of team we're seeing out of Castellans this time because they drew with pal Paladins and Defenders, and that yeah. that's me honest is <laughs> embarrassing. That, that is for that team to draw with that team. No, yeah, I agree with that. That's uh, it, pretty embarrassing. It's, it's actually it's borderline shocking. But this, you yeah. know, in this game they're looking solid. I mean, they used to have like some, I don't know, some. I have no clue. I have no idea how they I mean, do that game. On, like, on paper, it. on paper they should they should just 16 0 really. Yeah. I, I think had not done great in the next week either. I think they lost or something to someone fairly uneventful. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, actually no, they beat Jack Monoran, but I mean, you know. So what? Yeah. Jack, Seemed like Jack Monoran, Jack Monoran, lovely bunch of guys, but not big threats, realistically. Yeah. You're right. No, they're, they're the kind of team to wrestle out with the Knights of Rodos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. They, they should come on on top then. I. But it was a draw, the only draw we've had so far oh. in the league. No, but put no Paladins and Defenders. No, yeah. yeah. But no, Paladins and Defenders, they beat the Aquan Oren. I'm saying the, yeah. the, the draw was with yeah, whatever. No, know. yeah, uh, I understand. Yeah, it's I just, understand. I, was, I wasn't very clear. Which is good. Sorry. As a caster. Ambiguity. Ambiguity. I don't know what those two words means. It's one word. <laughs> oh. I don't know what that word means then. Yeah, well, I couldn't even pronounce it. 
it's bad, uh. it's bad pronunciation and, and uh, poor elocution. That's what we lived in Turkey for a while, so... Yeah, it has destroyed my English. Uh, there you go. I can speak English like a Turk really well now. It's one of my many talents. Uh, and that's good talent to have, I guess. But Why <laughs> haven't you done the thing? I don't understand. That's pretty good. That's not that's actually that. I can do better than that. I was I put pressure on myself. You're good at speaking Turkish as an Englishman, though. Oh, perfect. That's like my best thing. Do you have a really English accent in Turkish? No, I don't think so. Maybe I do. I, I, I can't tell. Um, mm. Flag spawns in the rat market. And three rocker there first. They've abandoned they raising the flag, which I think is kind of a yeah. mistake. I was gonna uh, say that. Oh, team go from after that, though. This is the chance for three rock. Uh, losing Van Tong early on, and um, couch. yeah, Arthur's gonna be a bit shaken up by that as well. He comes in and the game gets three okay. up. Three okay, it's work right now. Yeah, they are. Van Dorp busting out the um, two hander. Two hander. Really putting a lot of pressure on Caesar right now. Shock seems to picking up kills, and actually, th I think three okay gonna take this round. Yeah, it looks like it. Keep themselves in the running just about for the next map. Arthur's gonna get killed by Shock C. Catty brings down Yoda, and I think. Uh, oh, Caesar's gonna go down here, is he? Surely. Tingle from Velendor. To be expected with the two hander and the, the reckless way that he was using it. Dango Caesar. Artisan remaining. On left. And, oh, sliced in two by Velendor. If only we had that feature. And, well, there you have it. 7 1 to Not a complete, Not a complete roll so far, but if only they could have woken up and sorted out a little bit sooner. We might have a bit more of a match on our hands, but it's not bad. What map is the next map? Reverend Village, is it? Uh, it is, Reverend Village. Mm -hmm. Could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, if, if they can get really, if they can get grenade going and like they can do some serious cab work, then they have a chance. They just smack him and Shoxy, like put a shoe off their bombs and just let him go. Right, I mean, that's the idea, right? Yeah, definitely. Because both of them is really good cap. I mean, Turkish players in general just seem to be good at cap. Really? Yeah, that, that's the impression I have. Give some other examples. Real, real off a few names. Sikichi. Sikichi. Um, Sting the Grail was good cap with me. Um, El Hazib. Um, uh, Grenade. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I'll give you that. <laughs> Uh, they they do have a lot of good. And they're like they're like they're like top tier. Like that's not like even for like, any country. That's like quite a few top tier cavs. Really. SOE Napoleon. SOE was Darian plays cav. Goliath as well, very good. Goliath, yeah, he was one of the best cav of his time, I think. Yeah, easily. People seeing the stream lagging a little bit. We've got no drop frames, so hopefully it should be all right. Um, I'll check the vod, but I think this time it should should be all right. Actually, just to upload from Twitch directly. But guys, maybe you can tweet in as well. Hashtag WL4 so I can see your tweet. That's important. Tweet at me or I blip blip out. Well, I'm not. I don't have my Twitter up at home. You, you can put it up on your phone. You know what? You know what's going on. You're right about that. I struggle with, with technology sometimes. I think you're doing just fine tonight. Speaking about technology, I bought a second monitor the other day. Are you Are you happy? Will you never go back? No, nah, I won't. Uh, no, I probably won't go back. It's staying there for now. Really. It's good. You like it. Yeah, I do like it. Did you get like a yeah. sick, like super high hertz monitor, or just a regular one? No, nah, just a regular cheap one. Oh. I'm, I'm pretty poor. Pretty, I, I really, pretty want, I really want to get myself like a 144 hertz monitor, or something like that. Just like super uh, smooth. I don't, I don't oh. understand that. Nah, it'd just be, it would just be sick. Like everything's be super smooth and like four. Oh. Isn't everything super smooth already? Nah, man. If you play with that like side by side, you understand the difference. I've seen it, and it's just it's insane. I, I don't know. I, I was at I was at this um, electronics store, right? Yeah. And I was just looking at these different TVs, and they all look the same. Like, and there's different Wait, price tags on In terms of image quality? But, I don't know. The thing is, like, at the electronic store, they do, like, they'll hook up all the, um, the video, like, inputs, like, through the same cord. So it'll just be, like, mm -hmm. banded through the same thing, so... Often you don't get the best demonstration. They do uh, pretty... I don't know. It's just, like... They do pretty well in Turkey, actually, like... was the size, really. You should come out to one of the big, like, computer stores in Turkey, because, like, in Turkey, they're all, like... Middle Eastern and Arabs and they're all scared to buy things on the internet so they have like these massive like um, computer stores where you can buy like graphics cards and all sorts of stuff like like mm. so much like normally like you can buy a graphics card in a shop in England I don't think like they have like two different ones in PC world but like yeah. in, in Turkey they've got like everything like in this like huge big warehouse place with like, uh, like all this kind of stuff and they have like demos there of TVs that's pretty cool that's they have, pretty they have cool. demos there of TVs which and like in like proper resolution and frame rate and stuff it looks sick 
So what you're saying is Turkey's a nerdier country than England? Nah, it's just like they're just scared of buying things online, so they have to do it all <laughs> offline and have these big stores for it. Well, I, th I think that's cool. I mean, I'm sure they have them in England as well, but like Turkey, I mean, I, I don't really come across them that much, either. I just yeah. stuff them on. I think, I think uh, buying it in the store is cooler than yeah, no, it is, in it there. Is. And you can like squeeze people and they can give you some advice and stuff. Yeah. Vatan Bilgesayar, that's uh, that's my plug. That's where you should go. Really? Vatan, Vatan Bilgesayar means like like kind of citizen build, like citizen computer kind of thing, but like not really. All right. Fair enough, man. But if they oh, want, if they if they want to give free stuff to MBTV or if they want to be a sponsor, you know, just tweet me, get in contact, we can talk this out. I could use some new PC specs as well. If you could tweet me about that. Yeah. Tweet them about that. Catch me on Twitter. I think we're live now. So yes, I'm gonna run the damn map intro. Let's do it. Okay, we're in the game now, and uh, well, they're okay. They're okay. I've gone. Uh, <laughs> they've gone eight cav, and I think they heard me. Who, who heard you? Uh, oh, okay. That I said that old yeah, trick. Yeah, yeah. Cav. Yeah, it's, did, but, cav. Uh, it's not worked out for them in the first round because uh, Castell went pretty cav heavy, cav heavy as well, and they've just kind of gone down. Pepper's been picking them off. He's been peppering them. Yeah, he's arrows. been peppering them. I'm kind of sad that didn't work out because I thought it would. Yeah. A little GG, bit of trolling from uh, Castell. Now. Yeah, it was it's a nice unusual. idea. I like I like the, I like the idea of them doing going something nuts. But like the thing is, like if they really really want to make a comeback, I know they should have they should have tried the first round that they had of, doing, of playing a regular game because that's going to be their best chance of just beating them regularly. Yeah, and see if it works. See yeah, if it works. Like they're not going to be able to do like eight cab every single time because at some point Castellan is going to take eight cab and then it's going to be like a, a coin toss. So. You know, they revert to like a normal style of play now as well. And um, oh, sorry, for talking about the score there. It's an eight-one to uh, Castellans. Right. So um, the worst yeah, thing that's gonna happen is that they can draw now. They secure themselves. It's a mistake doing that like that. It, w it was reckless. Yeah. I mean, I like, who knows? Maybe maybe they could have beaten Castellan on this map. I feel like Turkish. They've never really been famous for their great commanders. To be honest, they've had so many great players. But mm, yeah, not that many no. great teams, in my opinion. Like RM was their best team, and they still they, their main thing was just a sick player skill. Like people yeah, like, you're like right. Raiden and like Shatari or whatever, just messing people up. Was it Shatari? Can't, I can't remember. That was before my time. Yeah, it probably was. We got well, not Raiden's not before your time. Raiden's just a yeah. Raiden's here now. Yeah. yeah. Is he in playing in the um, playing IR, mate? Oh, is he? Yeah. That's cool. They really want to beat us. We're gonna be doing A versus I think it's gonna be tomorrow. Do check out that stream. Yeah. I'll be joined by Bash Tide, which will be a pleasure. Oh, that's cool. So cool. hope he shows up for that then. What? What do you mean? Oh yeah, he's not oh, yeah. here right now. I think yeah, he's probably doing something tonight. I'm not sure. I don't really seem to need him. Need no, so certainly not. Right. I think they're doing fine with that. I also feel like taking a cavas Nords is like <laughs> even stupider. <laughs> You know yeah, I mean? the, it's, they just like they get one bang so easy. Yeah, Jesus. Um, three cav, I think, is Nord's is pretty cool setup. Like, I don't know why I'm taking one archer on an open map, four infantry, not really necessary, perhaps, but well, why not? Um, I like the the setup for Castellan much better. Four cav, uh, two archers, and two inf. That's like that's a nice yeah, setup. Yeah, that's pretty standard. That. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good setup. Yeah, that's what. Is. That's what you want for this map if 6 cap doesn't work for you really. Yeah. And usually 6 cap doesn't work that good on this on this map. Oh, you're taking a jab there, was it? Mm, maybe, or no, an arrow maybe. Yeah. So I'm to sort of watch out a little bit. They are just gradually sort of getting a cross around this flag, which is spotted by the church, because it's a nice hit off on Midgard there as well. Follow OJ for a little bit. Get my John. Grenade with the first go on Pepper, that's nice. Um, that's going to eliminate the crossfire potential for Castellans. Don't be pulled back a kill. 
I'm doing most of the practice, well. yeah. And now OGL, yeah, yeah, yeah. OGL seeing go. backs now, so high piss off Bandor. Don't miss mid-garden. Poor odds are okay. They're just getting messed up by all these Cav. Vega Cav already pretty tough. Dang it, Shoxy. Uh, the flag is still high for 3-OK, okay, but uh, the players... Yeah, just it's a minute left, dude. It's pieces. a minute left. Uh, oh, Catty with a nice headshot there. Yeah, but I mean, he's so far away from the fight. I mean, where, what was he doing? He's there actually. He's not uh, supposed no to be there earlier on. I see if he can get some work on the flag as well. If he can get some nice... Uh, if he can get a kill here. He's one on five it right now. Not. It ain't gonna happen, I don't think. No. Nah. Pop deep behind. Oh, he gets his shield smashed by a spear. That's cool. I like that. Pretty badass. Uh, and and that's it, it, isn't it? Nine one. Yep. Castellans take it. We're gonna try and get someone for an interview here. Uh, if someone's free. Which hopefully they should be. There you have it, though. Nine one. Very dominating, I'd say. Very, yeah. very one-sided. Uh, not, not playing into my predictions at all. I thought it'd be pretty close as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, they might get a few rounds now, so it's kind of hard to call, but uh, realistically, Cassette's had a pretty easy time here today. I'm going to bug someone for an interview. They might have, maybe Yami might be available or someone else. Someone yeah, she ain't playing. playing. Get Yona. And get Victor Novak, Bantong maybe. I don't know. Just trying to work that out. You guys, maybe you can tweet in about uh, how you found the game. Maybe tweet in some questions you want us to ask. And we'll ask him in the interview now, right now. But uh, congratulations to Castellan. Yeah, congratulations. Mm. I know there's been a couple of minor um, stream errors in this game, but I'll do my best. That's all we can ask for. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support. Who's 3 OK Yeet, by the way? It's someone else, in it? Yeet. I'm not sure. It's, um. Marwi, in it? It could be, yeah. I mean, that's, that's his uh, name, so. Yeah. Is that, um. Was he in IG or Core? Or was he in both? Um. I don't think he was in IG, I think he's just in Core. Oh, yeah. That was it. Okay, so we're gonna have um, Yami and Yona come in just to talk to us. Cool. It's Castellan, isn't it? That tag. What's the damn tag? What? It yeah, is Castellan, alright. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Double L. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Gotta get that. Top tier MLG spelling guy. Yeah, MLG spelling. So we just call it. Yeah, that's terrible. Well, you laugh. I could hear you laughing. So obviously it wasn't that bad. I don't know. I pushed the talk when I laughed, so I you couldn't hear it. I'm just gonna turn the music down then and um, bring these in. I gotta find them. In the, they're in the seems to be right. Well, if they if they're gonna do the interview, they better be. 